Enter for a chance to win a big box of crayons, a set of watercolors, and an artist's pad of paper. Send pictures to refrigerator123 at gmail.com. Every picture is an entry, so the more pictures you send, the more of a chance you have to win. Hi everyone, welcome back to The Refrigerator Goes to New York City. Today's special guest reader is my friend, Mrs. Meehan, reading from her refrigerator in Brooklyn, New York. Hello friends, I'm here to read to you one of my most favorite stories. The title is Spoon. It's written by Amy Krauss Rosenthal and illustrated by Scott Magoon. To my spooning partner, Jason, to Alessandra and Marfick. This is Spoon. This is Spoon's family. On Sunday, Spoon goes to visit his Aunt Silver. He has to be on his very best behavior there. She is very fancy and proper. Goodbye, darling. Ta-ta. At bedtime, Spoon likes to hear the story about his adventurous great-grandmother who fell in love with a dish and ran off to a distant land. Lately, though, Spoon had been feeling blue. What's wrong? asked his mother. You look a bit bent out of shape. Nothing, mumbled Spoon. It's just that, I don't know, all my friends have so much better than me. Like Knife. Knife is so lucky. He gets to cut. He gets to spread. I never get to cut or spread. Yes, Knife is pretty, pretty spiffy that way, isn't he? And Fork. Fork is so lucky. She gets to go practically everywhere. I bet she never goes stir crazy like I do. Fork does get out and make herself useful, doesn't she? And chopsticks, they are so lucky. Everyone thinks they're really cool and exotic. No one thinks I am cool or exotic. Those chopsticks are something, aren't they? Meanwhile, if only Spoon knew what his friends were saying at that very minute. Spoon is so lucky, said Knife. He's so fun and he's going. Everyone's so serious with me. No one's ever allowed to be silly with me like they are with Spoon. Spoon is so lucky, said Fork. He gets to measure stuff. No one ever does that with me. Spoon is so lucky, said Chopsticks. He can go places by himself. We could never function apart. That night, after bedtime stories, Spoon's mom turned off the light, tucked him in, and said, You know, Spoon, I wonder if you realize just how lucky you are. Your friends will never know the joy of diving headfirst into a bowl of ice cream. They'll never know what it feels like to clink against the side of a cereal bowl. And they'll never be able to twirl around in a mug or relax in a hot cup of tea. Spoon hadn't thought of it that way before. He lay awake in bed for a long time. His mind was racing. He felt so alive. There was only one thing to do. I can't sleep. Come snuggle. 
And so he did. Sweet dreams. If you like this story, the author and illustrator created a sequel called Chopsticks. And it's all about the story of chopsticks that we heard about inside the story. So what I wanted to do today as our drawing prompt was to think about things that we find in our kitchen and turn them into characters. Because this character here is made from spoon. So I looked around my kitchen and I found two things that I thought would be a cute character. A spatula and the frying pan. They kind of go together. So I'm going to look at my spatula using just a black marker as an outline. Maybe a handle, the rectangular shape of the spatula. And I'm going to turn it into a character by adding some eyes and a mouth. We can give him some eyebrows. And then I'm going to draw my frying pan, which is a large circle. Large circle with a little circle on the inside. Two little circles inside a rectangle and a handle, a little hole here. So I'm going to use these two little holes that are already there as his eyes and create a nice smiley mouth. Maybe give those eyes some eyelashes. And now these kitchen tools have become characters that I can use to create a story. Give her some eyebrows. We could even give her some hands. So look around your kitchen and get some inspiration and turn some regular kitchen items into cute little characters. Enter for a chance to win a big box of crayons, a set of watercolors, and an artist's pad of paper. Send pictures to refrigerator123 at gmail.com. Every picture is an entry, so the more pictures you send, the more of a chance you have to win.